Hi everyone! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five must-haves, in my opinion, um, from Amazon for every candle maker. And these are items that I have tried to purchase from other suppliers because generally I do like to try to give my business to other suppliers or storefronts and not just like buy everything on Amazon. But I will say with these five items that I have not found better anywhere else and I've actually found worse um, most everywhere else. Um, so anyways, let's get right into today's video and thank you so much for watching. So the very first of these items is a thermometer. And I would beg to say that I found the best infrared thermometer and the best stick thermometer um, from Amazon. And by the way, all the products mentioned, I have linked them in the description box below. These are both really good. I don't, I think this is E-Tech City. Um, but this has been a very reliable infrared thermometer. But if you can only get one, I would recommend a stick thermometer, contrary to popular opinion, um, because they are just really good at getting very precise readings. Um, there's very little air margin with a stick thermometer, whereas infrared thermometers do have about a 10 degree air margin. Um, and you do need to, you know, generally stir um, before you use them because they're measuring the temperature, um, basically the surface. They're just just a little bit less user friendly in my opinion than a stick thermometer and they're a little bit harder to get a more precise reading. The next item is beakers and I have grouped with this the little glass stirring rods which I don't think are absolutely necessary but I do think it's really important as a candle maker to have very clearly designated um, places that you're putting your fragrance oils because fragrance oils are not something that you generally want to mix with your kitchen supplies and if you have kids or if you have a spouse or friends who come over and um, they were to not know which materials you're using for candles and which ones are general cookware. It's just easier to keep everything very clearly marked and these are just standard lab beakers. I have the 250 and the 500 uh, milliliter size and I would generally recommend starting with the 250 milliliter size. If you're going to make super big batches, the 500 milliliter um, beakers are definitely the way to go. I do use the stirring rods just when I'm pouring the fragrance out of the box. Models. You could definitely use a chopstick or you could be like me and use your stick thermometer, which is my guilty habit um, <laughs> that I do when I'm pouring. Definitely just having something that's clearly marked. Again, I try to avoid using anything that could be mistaken for something that you'd normally use in the kitchen um, with your candle business. So glass stirring rods are just a really nice way to have that clearly designated uh, material that you use for when you are stirring in fragrances or when you're pouring fragrances and then the beakers for how you're measuring out your fragrances. Also, um, it's really a good idea to use something that is not just any type of plastic. If you are gonna use plastic, make sure that it has a recycling code of a two or a five. Fragrance oils, many of them do have some semi-corrosive to corrosive properties and they will just eat your plastic. And the next item is these little pouring pitchers, um, these are actually made for like coffees, I believe. Like when you're making a latte, I believe these are the 20 fluid ounce ones. Um, but I find, um, and I always get the black ones because I do have like a machine, like an espresso machine that I use to make lattes and I use these exact pitchers in the kitchen, but they're silver. So I use the black ones for all of my candle making when I'm making like smaller batches where I just want to test like, I have like a whole bunch of these so that when I am making, oh my gosh. Ah! What I do is I'll just use them when I'm making smaller batches, like with a single candle or a couple of candles. So that way I can fit, um, again, like these are the 20 ounce size, but I think there's also some that are slightly smaller and these are just the perfect size to be able to do that testing and not have to have a giant pouring pitcher that's like four pounds of wax that you um, dirty up in the process. And the next item is a scale. And my scale has definitely gotten a lot of love 
Um, it's very like stained and everything. I've spilled fragrance oils on this guy. Um, again, it's this E-Tech City brand. Um, same brand as the infrared thermometer. Um, all linked below, but this scale has been super reliable. Um, you do have to use um, just triple A batteries in it, which I actually really prefer to some of the ones where you have to use like the special like disc batteries or whatever they are. So this has been my go-to um, scale for just making smaller batches and just for being a really affordable option for a scale. There is another one that I do use that's like $50 that I've got linked below as well. Um, that is definitely like an upgraded version, but I've never noticed any issues with accuracy with this little scale. And it's just a really great budget friendly option that in all honesty works just as well as my $50 one. And the very last item that I'm going to be sharing is y'all are going to laugh at me for this, but wick trimmers. Um, yes, I have custom wick trimmers. Grab one of mine. So I outsourced these and I had these custom made and I absolutely love them. But like most wick trimmers, they do only work on burned wicks. So if you want something that is gonna work really well on your unburned wicks, I would highly recommend this one from Amazon. I don't even know what the brand name is, but I've just linked in the description box below the listing to the one that I purchased. They're very affordable. I think they're like 10 or $11. And sometimes you can get a set of two, but it's just this one listing that I found that has them where they're really, really sharp and they'll work very well on wood wicks as well as all cotton wicks. And just something that you absolutely need because like if you're trying to just use scissors, it doesn't work very well. Like you need something that's really gonna quickly cut so you can just zip through all your wicks and not spend half a day trying to trim things. Well, that is all for today's video. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you already own one of these items and what you think of it or if there's any additional items that you purchase on Amazon that you think would be useful. And thank you so much for watching and happy candle making.